Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Right now, the stock market is getting crushed, and new investors are starting to close their accounts and run away from the stock market. There's been talks about we're heading into a recession, and it's very much looking like we are. So why are smart investors like us looking to invest in the middle of a recession? And since you clicked on this video, you are a smart investor and you know right now is the best time to invest. Those that are closing their accounts right now and walking away from investments are those that have bought high and sold low because right now in their position that they're selling out, they're doing the number one rule of investing that you're never supposed to do. You're never supposed to buy high and sell low. The only way to make money is to buy low and sell high. So there's ways that you can know when to buy and when to sell, especially right now while the economy is not doing good at all. The economy is starting to slow down. When interest rates begin to rise month after month, that's when investors get spooked and start to sell their positions while the market is still high. And when investors start to sell their positions, that's when the stock market begins to pull back even before the recession begins. And that's why the stock market begins to fall. When the stock market is beginning to pull back, we call that a bear market. It is completely different than investing inside of a bull market. A bull market is when the stock goes up over an extended period of time, and a bear market is when the stocks pull back over an extended period of time. Now, investing inside of the stock market in a recession inside of a bear market is completely different than investing inside of a bull market. You don't get that instant gratification as if you was investing inside of a bull market to where you see your stocks almost rise every week immediately. Well, in the bear market or in a recession, you kind of invest a little bit differently. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what stocks get hit the hardest during a recession, what stocks perform the best, and what stocks rebound the quickest. So make sure that you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any of this crucial information. Also, this video is brought to you and sponsored by Moomoo. Stick around for our sponsors, Moomoo, later in this video because I'm going to show you how you can deposit any amount of money and you can receive 15 free stocks. And on top of that 15 free stocks, you will also get a $10 cash coupon. So don't miss out on that awesome opportunity from Moomoo by checking out the link down in the description. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. If you talk to any wealthy person, they would tell you recessions is where wealth is made. That's where it is built at, guys. It's during the recession. If you started investing last year, unfortunately, you are getting crushed and stock the stock market. And I know that your portfolio is not looking too well right now. But you got to dig deep and hold on and continue to invest inside of the recession because you are getting great stocks at a discounted price. Now, if you have been stacking your cash and saving your money, money now might be the perfect time to invest i know you guys are wondering what stocks should i be looking to grab during the recession well some of the stocks that get hit the hardest are tech stocks real estate stocks and consumer service stocks and there's no telling how far the stock market is going to pull back so if you start investing into these stocks that are going to get hit the hardest like google amazon microsoft any of these tech stocks they're going to get hit hard. They're not going to have that instant gratification of these stocks are going to rebound quickly. They're going to continue to pull back and we don't know for how much longer, but I am telling you right now, those stocks are the ones that get hit the hardest. And that's going to bring us to point number two, what stocks recover the quickest, rebound the quickest, and that would be consumer discretion stocks and also technology stocks. So if you are able to pick up the ones that get hit the hardest, which is tech stocks, that is the sectors that are going to rebound the quickest and you could easily double, if not triple your money, if you time the market right and get them at a very good price. For example, when the dot-com bubble hit back in 1998, the stock market pulled back 20% and you could have picked up shares of Apple for 26 cents per share. If you would have just invested $1,000 into Apple, during the recession of the 1998.com bubble, right now you will have over $500 thousand dollars with just a one thousand dollar investment so that's what i mean by wealth is built during a recession now the sector that does perform the best and rebounds the quickest after a recession would be consumer discretionary stocks some top consumer discretionary stocks would be starbucks home depot and nike and if you're looking for an etf to invest into you can invest into xly or vcr an etf is a strange trader fund they have a whole bunch of different companies inside of their portfolio for example um, walt disney 
Nike, Comcast, Netflix, and Sony, all inside of their portfolio. And you can invest into this one ETF that covers all of the consumer discretionary stocks. So if you want to invest into one of those ETFs or one of those stocks individually, because you think that they're going to perform the best after recession, those will be good ones that you need to add to your list and check out. Now, if you want to invest during a recession and don't have the time or the patience to ride the wave up and down while the stock market continues to pull back, then there are some stocks that performs well inside a recession and continues to goes up while other stocks are pulling backs and one of the top sectors that i love investing into inside of the recession will be the utility sector when it comes to utilities you can invest into water um, energy electricity but one of the favorite companies that i like investing into would be waste management i'll talk about them all the time they have a history of tending to only literally go up even when stocks are down 30, 40, 50% this year, WM Waste Management is still on the rise and outperforming the stock market. So if you don't have the time or patience for these stocks to hit rock bottom and see your portfolio go down as you enter the market for the first time, then you could invest into utility companies because those tend to um, perform better during recession than any other sector inside of the stock market. Now I'm gonna walk you guys on how to buy these stocks. I use the platform Moomoo, the sponsor of this video. Okay, Dreamers, with the link down in the description with Moomoo right now, if you sign up and deposit any amount of money, that's right, just one penny if you want to, you'll receive a free voucher of $10 that you can start to invest inside of that platform on top of the 15 free stocks that you're already going to get when you sign up and deposit any amount of money. So let me walk you guys on how to buy an individual stock on Moomoo. The cool thing about Moomoo is that you could buy, you can buy things from the US market, crypto, Hong Kong, many different sectors. But we wanna hit this search button at the top right. And let's say we wanna invest into everyone's favorite company, Apple. So even if you don't know the ticker symbol, you could type in the company name, Apple, and there it goes, the ticker symbol is AAPL. So even if you don't know the ticker symbol of some of these companies, you could just type in the name of that company and it will pop up. So let's click on Apple. All right, so here we are on Apple. It gives you all of the information that you need to know about Apple, the highs, the lows, the dividend rates, and then you guys can look at that chart if you want to. But after you check out all of the information and you're sure you wanna buy shares of this company, you wanna hit trade at the bottom left. And then once you get here, you can make it either a limit order or a market order. When you do a limit order, you wanna enter the price of Apple right, right now at the recording of this video, it's at $155.84. So you enter your limit price of $155. $55.84 and then you could type in how many shares that you want to buy so I mean you would not pay a dime not even half a cent more over $155.84 for Apple as the market opens and the price fluctuate that is going to be the price you play or a little bit cheaper but if you want to do a market order usually they give you the market price and you could enter the market immediately so you will hit market you want to enter how many shares you want to buy so if you want to buy one you just enter one share and then you hit buy once you hit buy it'll show you your order details and then you could just confirm it and then your order is entered and then now you will be a part owner of apple by just owning one share of apple so apple is a part of the technology industry how hard can they get who knows i'm going to be patient and wait for the perfect price to strike at and buy up some shares of apple and there you go dreamers that is how you could be successful and build wealth inside of the recession and prepare yourself for the 2023 recession remember as interest rate rise and the economy slows down it, it's, it might be a good time to start selling at the top before the market get even worse now you guys know what sectors is going to get hit the hardest now you guys know what sectors is going to rebound the quickest and probably 2x 3x your money and if you guys want to diversify your portfolio during a recession and invest into some companies that performs well in a recession now you guys know what sector outperforms the stock market during a recession and that is consumer discretionary stocks let me know down in the comment section which way is your favorite way to invest are you going to buy the dip are you going to buy technology stocks while they're on sale or are you going to invest during a recession in stocks that usually does well inside a recession so that you can end out on top let me know which way is your best way of investing down in the comment section once again i would like to thank today's sponsor of this video moomoo check out their link down in the description do not miss out on this awesome opportunity for their 10th anniversary there i'm telling you guys this is one of the best offers they had yet do not miss out on this opportunity and, and i want to congratulate them on their 10th anniversary
But other than that, guys, before we go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hopefully, this helped you guys heading into 2023 and help you build wealth five, 10 years down the road. Other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.